The 10 Best Works of Art of Egyptian Culture In this exciting video, we'll explore the top 10 works of art from Egyptian culture, an enduring legacy that has captivated entire generations. From the majestic pyramids to the enigmatic funerary treasures, we will immerse ourselves in a world of mystery and unparalleled beauty. Prepare to be dazzled by the grandeur of the pharaohs, the intricate carvings, the enigmatic hieroglyphics and the vibrant colors that will reveal the secrets of an ancient and lost civilization. Let's get started. Number 10. Frescoes from the Tomb of Seti I. The frescoes from the Tomb of Seti I are an exceptionally important and beautiful piece of Egyptian art. The tomb belongs to Pharaoh Seti I, who ruled Egypt in the 13th century BC. It is located in the Valley of the Kings, on the west bank of the Nile River, near the ancient city of Thebes, today called Luxor. The frescoes in the tomb of Seti I are famous for their detailed and meticulous execution, as well as their historical and religious significance. They cover the walls of the tomb and depict a wide variety of subjects, including scenes of daily life, religious rituals, Egyptian mythology, and the pharaoh's journey into the afterlife. These frescoes offer a unique insight into life and culture in ancient Egypt. They represent Egyptian gods, pharaohs and royalty, as well as funeral rituals and the belief in the afterlife. The colors used, although they have lost some of their brilliance over time, still exhibit the artistry and technical skill of the ancient Egyptian artists. In addition to their aesthetic value, the frescoes in the tomb of Seti I also have significant historical and archaeological value. They provide valuable information about the social structure, religious beliefs, and burial traditions of ancient Egypt. The precise details and hieroglyphic inscriptions on the frescoes help Egyptologists and archaeologists to better understand the Egyptian civilization and its cultural legacy. Number 9. Rosetta Stone the Rosetta Stone is a famous Egyptian piece of art that played a pivotal role in the decipherment of Egyptian hieroglyphs. It was discovered in 1799 in the Nile Delta by French soldiers during Napoleon's campaign in Egypt. The stone is a fragment of an ancient black granite stella containing a decree issued in 196 BC by the Egyptian king Ptolemy V in three different scripts, Egyptian hieroglyphics, Demotic script, and ancient Greek. The true value of the Rosetta Stone lies in its trilingual inscription, as it allowed scholars to compare the three scripts and begin to unravel the meaning of Egyptian hieroglyphics, which had remained incomprehensible for centuries. After the British captured the Rosetta Stone in 1801, it became the subject of study for numerous experts. Finally, the Frenchman Jean-Francois Champollion, a brilliant linguist and expert in ancient languages, managed to decipher the hieroglyphics in 1822 using the Rosetta Stone as a key. This discovery was an important milestone in the understanding of the ancient Egyptian civilization and opened the door to a new understanding of their history, culture, and writing. Number 8. Seated Statue of Khafren. The Seated Statue of Khafra is a famous Egyptian work of art depicting Pharaoh Khafra of the IV dynasty of ancient Egypt. The statue was carved in diorite, a very resistant stone, and is in the Cairo Museum. The seated figure shows Khafra seated on a throne, legs together and arms resting on his thighs. The pharaoh is depicted with great detail and realism, with a serene and majestic expression. The statue is approximately 1.63 meters tall and shows the ability of the ancient Egyptians to sculpt human figures with precision and beauty. The seated statue of Khafra is known for its idealized style and for being one of the most famous representations of the pharaoh. The falcon god, Horus, is carved on the back of the throne, representing divine protection over the ruler. 
This work of art reflects the importance and power of the pharaoh in Egyptian society, as well as the belief in the divinity of the ruler. The statue also shows the belief in eternal life and the pharaoh's continuance as ruler even after his death. Number 7. The Walls of Karnak. The Karnak Walls are an Egyptian artwork found in the Karnak Temple Complex, in Luxor, Egypt. These impressive walls represent one of the most outstanding manifestations of ancient Egyptian art and architecture. The Karnak Temple Complex was built and expanded over more than 1,500 years, from the Middle Kingdom to the Ptolemaic period. Its walls are decorated with reliefs and hieroglyphics that tell stories and convey information about ancient Egyptian mythology, history, and religion. These walls are covered with images of pharaohs, gods, religious ceremonies and scenes of daily life. The reliefs show the pharaohs making offerings to the gods, victorious battles, and scenes from life at the royal court. Sacred animals and mythological beings are also represented. The artistic quality of the reliefs is impressive, with meticulous details and vivid colors that have endured through the centuries. These artistic representations not only serve as a form of beautification, but also have a symbolic and religious function, reinforcing the importance of the temple and its connection to the gods. Number 6. The Bust of Nefertiti. The Nefertiti bust is a famous Egyptian artwork depicting Queen Nefertiti, who was the main wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. This sculpture was created around the year 1345 BC by the sculptor Thutmose and is considered one of the masterpieces of ancient Egyptian art. The Nefertiti bust is a stunning and lifelike representation of the queen. It shows her face in profile with fine, delicate features, a slender jaw, and a long neck. Nefertiti is portrayed with a serene expression and enigmatic gaze, which has contributed to her fame and fascination over the years. The sculpture was discovered in 1912 in the workshop of the sculptor Thutmose in Amarna, Egypt, by the German archaeologist Ludwig Burchardt. Since then, it has become an icon of art and feminine beauty. The Nefertiti bust is known for its elegance and aesthetic perfection, and has become a symbol of Egyptian royalty and ancient Egyptian culture. The bust of Nefertiti is currently on display at the Neues Museum in Berlin, Germany. Number 5. Temple of Abu Simbel. The Abu Simbel Temple is an impressive Egyptian work of art located on the western bank of the Nile River in southern Egypt. It was built during the reign of Pharaoh Ramses II, in the 13th century BC, and is considered one of the most outstanding architectural achievements of ancient Egypt. The temple consists of two main structures, the Great Temple of Abu Simbel and the Small Temple of Nefertari. The Great Temple is the most prominent part and is dedicated to Ramses II, who wanted his greatness and power to be eternally remembered. The temple's facade is dominated by four huge colossal statues of Ramses II, measuring approximately 20 meters in height. These statues represent the pharaoh seated on a throne, wearing a royal crown and holding the scepter and scourge, symbols of his authority. The interior of the Great Temple houses a series of rooms and corridors decorated with reliefs and paintings celebrating the military and religious achievements of Ramesses II. One of the most notable aspects of the temple is its astronomical alignment, which allows the sun's rays to penetrate into the inner sanctum twice a year, on the anniversaries of Ramesses II's birth and coronation. The small temple of Nefertari, located next to the Great Temple, is dedicated to the wife of Ramses II, Queen Nefertari. It also has a facade adorned with colossal statues of the Queen, and inside there are rooms decorated with reliefs and paintings that exalt her position and beauty. The Abu Simbel Temple is significant not only for its beauty and magnificence, 
but also for the impressive effort put into its preservation. In the 1960s, due to the construction of the Aswan Dam, the temple was in danger of being submerged under the waters of the Nile. However, an international effort allowed it to be dismantled and relocated to a higher place, thus preserving this valuable work of art and safeguarding an important part of Egyptian history. Number 4. Obelisk of Hatshepsut. The Obelisk of Hatshepsut is an Egyptian work of art found in the Karnak Temple in Luxor, Egypt. It was erected during the reign of Queen Pharaoh Hatshepsut, one of the few women to rule ancient Egypt. The obelisk is a tall, slender structure, carved from a single block of red limestone. Hatshepsut's obelisk is known for its imposing size and elegant decoration. It is covered in hieroglyphics recounting Hatshepsut's achievements and conquests during her reign. Hieroglyphs also describe religious ceremonies and rituals honoring the Egyptian gods. This particular obelisk is significant because it is one of the few ancient obelisks surviving in its original location. Many Egyptian obelisks were moved to different locations throughout history, but Hatshepsut's obelisk has remained in Karnak since its construction over 3,500 years ago. The artwork is a testament to Hatshepsut's power and influence in ancient Egypt. The obelisk represents her enduring legacy and her connection to the Egyptian gods. In addition to its historical and cultural significance, Hatshepsut's obelisk is also a work of art notable for its technical skill and aesthetic beauty. Number 3. Funerary Mask of Tutankhamun Tutankhamun's funerary mask is a famous Egyptian work of art dating back to the 14th century BC. This mask was discovered in 1922 in the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun by archaeologist Howard Carter. It is one of the most iconic and valuable works of the ancient Egyptian civilization. The funeral mask is made of solid gold and weighs around 11 kilograms. It is approximately 54 centimeters in height and is decorated with semi-precious stones, such as lapis lazuli, turquoise and carnelian. The face of the mask represents Tutankhamun with youthful and perfect features, with eyes inlaid with black and white quartz, and eyebrows and eyelashes made of lapis lazuli. Tutankhamun's funerary mask has important symbolic meaning. The pharaoh was believed to be the link between the gods and humans, and the mask was used to protect and guide the pharaoh on his journey after death. The mask also represents the wealth and power of the pharaoh as it is made of precious materials and is finely crafted with exquisite details. Today, Tutankhamun's funerary mask is in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo and is a very popular tourist attraction. It is considered a masterpiece of ancient art and an impressive representation of the craftsmanship and aesthetic vision of the ancient Egyptians. Number 2. The Sphinx of Giza. The Sphinx of Giza is an iconic Egyptian piece of art found in the Giza Pyramids complex on the outskirts of Cairo. It is believed to have been built during the reign of Pharaoh Khafra, around the 26th century BC. It is a monumental statue with a human head and the body of a lion, carved from a single limestone rock. The Sphinx of Giza is one of the largest and oldest structures in the world, with a height of approximately 20 meters and a length of 73 meters. His face is believed to represent Pharaoh Khafra, although this is still the subject of debate among experts. The Sphinx has become an enduring symbol of the ancient Egyptian civilization and has captured the imagination of people around the world. Over the centuries, the Sphinx has suffered damage due to erosion and natural degradation. The statue's original nose and beard have been lost, and the surface has been eroded by wind and rain. Yet despite these challenges, the Sphinx remains a popular tourist attraction and an emblem of ancient Egyptian grandeur and mystery. 
Number 1. The Pyramids of Egypt. The Pyramids of Egypt are one of the most emblematic and recognized works of art of the ancient Egyptian civilization. These monumental structures were built thousands of years ago as tombs for the pharaohs, the divine rulers of Egypt. The most famous pyramids are located in Giza, near Cairo. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Cheops Pyramid, is the largest and oldest of the three main pyramids on the Giza Plateau. It was built during the reign of Pharaoh Cheops of the 4th dynasty around 2600 BC. It is an architectural marvel with an original height of approximately 146 meters. The pyramids were built with impressive precision and technical skill. Huge limestone blocks were used, which were carefully carved and placed to form the pyramid structures. The ancient Egyptians believed in life after death, so the pyramids were designed to protect and preserve the bodies of the pharaohs, as well as their treasures and grave goods. In addition to their function as royal tombs, the pyramids also had symbolic and religious significance. They represented the connection between the gods and the pharaohs, as well as the greatness and power of the pharaoh on earth and in the afterlife.